Hi everybody. This is the new 20 gallon tank that I'm setting up to be my new uh, red clawed crab tank. It's actually Butterbean's old tank and I've stripped it down, cleaned it out, sterilized it and now we're getting it set back up. And I wanted to make a couple of notes before I do the big water change I'm about to do here. And one of them is that I cleaned this tank with bleach originally and if you saw that video uh, you will remember I mentioned that the bleach was splashless bleach. It's the really thick, goopy stuff. And it's thick and goopy like that because it has a surfactant in it. And the surfactant is what gives you your suds in your shampoos and your soaps. Um, not going to get into a bunch of explanation of what a surfactant actually is right now. But suffice it to say, it's what kills your fish if you were to put a few drops of shampoo in your fish tank. And when you're using bleach that's splashless like that, you've got to take into account that you're basically putting soap in there too if you want to use, you know, a slightly inaccurate but suitable word. And so I did that, I used it, I rinsed and rinsed, I did three or four full fills and drains, I've scrubbed around, I've run water through all the gravel and substrate in the bottom, and even after I got the tank set up uh, a couple days ago, I have drained it and filled it twice. So when I came down this morning, um, well, first of all, I should point out that last night I changed the filter over. Since this is going to be my red clawed crab tank, I wanted more of a waterfall effect. I need to have some land uh, in this tank, so I'm not quite sure how this tank's going to come together. That'll be a different video. But long story short was I needed more of a waterfall effect. So I took the filter that was on there off which was basically just allowing water to flow across the surface like you would normally expect a filter to do. And I put this filter on, which gave me that nice bubbly waterfall effect. And I went to bed. And when I turned the lights on down here about 20 minutes ago, this was a mass of suds and foam. It was almost up to the top of the tank. And now it's not. I mean, we've actually got, you know, clear water surface or whatever. So I'm wondering if the lights being on isn't what's causing all of those bubbles to burst. I know that may sound silly, but I think that's what happened. I, I considered at first maybe a pressure change when I opened the lid, but this isn't a sealed lid or anything. You can see we're wide open back here, so there will be no pressure differential. The only thing different was I turned the light on and I assume that the light is bursting the bubbles and reducing it down to the amount of foam we're seeing. So that was just a little interesting side note that I noticed, but it's a shame I didn't get to show you the tank with the foamy suds in there the way they were. I wish my camera would stop acting up and actually film normally here for a moment. So... Regardless of whether you got to see the big sudsy foamy stuff or not, you can clearly see my point that there is still way too much surfactant in there. If I had not switched this filter over, if I had just used that other filter thinking that everything was fine because the tank looked good, this is what I would have been putting those fish and red clawed crabs into. And I don't think they would have survived very long with enough surfactant left in the water to create that much suds. So I'm going to go ahead and drain the tank again. We're going to rinse the gravel some more, and I'll do that as many times as I need to until I don't see any signs of sudsing at all. And then this will eventually become my new Red Claw Crab Tank, but it's going to be more geared towards fish than the crabs probably. So again, look forward to that. Don't really know what exactly is going to pan out with this one, um, but there will be plenty of updates coming up here in the near enough future so go ahead and make sure you're subscribed that way you won't miss anything you never know what you're going to get with me uh, i got a bunch of stuff going on down here in the fish room i'm trying to get it all sorted out over the next week or so and if you're subscribed you won't miss any of that so thanks for watching don't forget this is my red claw crab tank i'll see you real soon